Hey everyone, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be part two of my journey to becoming a carrot. I'm so excited for this package. This has been long awaited. It's been building up for quite some time. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I ordered this stuff from Mercari Japan. I used the proxy service Baiyi. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> um, I just really like their service, so I decided that I wanted to use them again. And they're just so, so fast. Everything runs really smoothly. So anyways, if you haven't checked out part one of my journey to become Coming a carrot. I'll leave a link to that. Basically, this is like a little mini series where I'm trying to set up my 17 collection. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first part was actually a lot of stuff that I received from my friend Melanie. She hosted several 17 group orders. So um, that whole video was dedicated to that haul. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> and yeah, uh, this is all the stuff that I got from Japan. So I'm really excited. <laughs> this box is just so big that it won't even all fit in frame. So let me go ahead and just dig everything out. Okay, here was everything that I pulled out of the box. As you could tell, there was a ton of bubble wrap and I did pay extra to have that um, accommodation that is on top of the shipping fee and that is on top of the consolidation fee. I always have trouble saying that word, consolidation. Um, but yes, getting extra uh, bubble wrap and all that was extra. Now the thing is, the reason I did that was because there was a heavier item in there and you'll see what this is obviously, but it's heavy and I was just really paranoid that it was going to get banged up or maybe it would roll over and crush the photo cards. So if this haul was only photo cards, I would not have paid extra for the extra um, protective packaging. But okay, now let me go ahead and dig through all of this stuff. Okay, let's do a brief intermission because I'm like actually tired. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of unwrapping, which I know that sounds so sad that I'm tired from that, but let's kind of go over everything that's in here because I kind of forgot a little bit. Now this is mostly going to be DK because yes, Kitty, I don't know if you heard her meow. The cat is obviously in here because I have boxes and stuff laying around. But like I said, this is mostly going to be DK stuff because he is my bias. I actually do double bias. Uh, I bias Joshua as well. There will be a little bit of Joshua in here, but um, mainly DK because I just sort of wanted to focus mostly on his stuff first so I wasn't going to get too overwhelmed. And then there is a little bit of TXT. I'm talking like maybe two or three things tops and I think maybe like one and hyphen item. Um, because you know, I just sometimes you got to throw a couple extra things in there when you're having stuff shipped over from overseas to make things worth it, right? Okay, I've zoomed in a bit and you were probably wondering what the heck are these and I honestly Thought the same thing. I'm like did I buy cup sleeves? <laughs> because I have no recollection of doing that So I think what happened and I'm pretty sure this is what happened There was this one listing where it had a whole bunch of DK's photo cards and I think these cup sleeves were in the background of that photo so I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with these as well because I mean I don't really want them I mean I have no need for these I mean let's look at them <laughs> they just crack me up though this one especially this one <laughs> but I basically bought the photo cards and then this came with it but it was completely wrapped up separately than all the other photo cards so um, yeah, I, I don't know where those photo cards are yet. They're just buried in this pile here somewhere. But these are actually really cute. I really do enjoy cup sleeve events and birthday events in general, like fan made stuff. I think they're really cute. Um, but I totally did not expect this. So it was a lovely surprise. Okay, I'm just gonna start out with this one. And oh, it was actually already open. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I mean, I, I mentioned this in a previous video where 
I'm not really going in any like particular order when it comes to collecting 17. Whatever I see that I think is cute, I'm just going to, you know, try to get it. Um, and I've been joining some group orders and stuff too for like their more current stuff. But I guess I'm talking more in the sense of stuff that they previously released and like older album stuff. Um, I'm just not really going in any particular order. Um, which is fine with me. It kind of feels like less pressure that way and I just really want to have a good time with this too Also, like I said, this is going to be kind of like a little series and oh god, this is stuck but um, Part three is probably just going to be me setting up my collection Getting the binders set up. I'm really really excited for that because one of the binders is actually in this haul too Okay, I've been rambling so much. I haven't even showed you anything yet but all right, so we've got some Carrot Land stuff. This was uh, this year's Carrot Land. And one thing that I was super keen on doing while starting this collection, oh, how cute, there's his message. But one thing that I really wanted to do is I wanted to try to find as many sets of something as possible. So I tried really hard, you know, obviously not to look for things that were in individual listings. I just really wanted stuff that was in a set to make it um, a bit more worth the shipping cost. What is it, kitty? Here, go in. There you go, you go in the closet. My cat really wanted to go in the closet. Okay, ooh, I actually didn't mention that this is shiny. Oh gosh, I don't know if you can tell though. Yeah, there's a bit of like a broken glass hollow effect there. I don't know if you can tell, um, but anyways, I think there's actually one more that's missing out of this set, which is in this haul. But yeah, um, that's one tip though that I have is if you're just starting a new collection and you also want to utilize um, international proxy services, I highly suggest just searching for sets of that certain member because you're probably going to get a lot more bang for your buck that way. Okay, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to put him face down so my camera doesn't try too hard to focus on that. Okay, so it looks like we have some other Japanese cards. There's um, Director's Cut and Going 17, so we just have a whole, um, <laughs> a whole combo here. Of just miscellaneous cards that someone was just getting rid of, so... Oh my gosh, look at how little Uji is. He looks so cute. And then we have the We Make You card right here. The You Made My Dawn Before Dawn. So oh, here's these two. And then we have his Director's Cut card. And then Happy Ending. So yeah. Okay, so now I have, I think this is Carrot Land. I got quite a bit of Carrot Land stuff, I think. Oh, this is the unit card. Oh my god, this is quite a bit of a stack here. Okay, so here's the one with Mingyu. Ooh, these are thick. They're actually thicker than I anticipated. That's funny. And then a Sink one. Oh, and then another one. So yeah, I actually think I bought all these um, along with some other ones from the same seller. So they should be in this pile. I don't know, while we're on the topic of Carrot Land, I'll just go ahead and open up this one too, although it might be from a different seller. I'm not quite sure. Ooh, and these are actually sleeved really nicely as well. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, and these are so thick. I had no idea that they were going to be that thick, but oh, so cute. So happy that I found a set of these. I'm gonna try to at least get um, all the Carrot Land ones, I think. And then this one. Very cute. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is definitely from your choice. Okay, so these are actually from Messima. I could not remember what shop these were pre-orders from or fan sign cards, but that is Messima. Oh my gosh, look at this glob of glue. <laughs> All right, while we are on your choice, I got his card right here. 
this is wow this is really wedged in there but this is i think m2u because yeah it's plastic so this is a lucky draw how cute he is i absolutely love the ones with him and flowers i like if i see it i know i have to have these ones because he's with the flowers and they're just so pretty okay let's see what's in here And oh, okay, so we just hit our first TXT card. So this was from their Japanese release, Chaotic Wonderland. So this was the unit card for Yanjun and Subin. And this was a lot harder to find because people want to overprice this one like crazy. So yes, but I'm so happy to have this one. And actually, I think I have another... Mm, another Yeonjun one. Here it is. Let's open this one because I know I saw this. Uh, I could see through the bag. Okay. Oh, it looks like they included the postcard, but I think I actually already have this. So I didn't quite need the postcard, but it is still really cute. I'll have to see if my friends need that. And then I got Yanjun's Chaotic Wonderland. So I have decided that um, for Japanese releases or for, you know, more rare cards like Lucky Draws or Fan Sign cards, I just want to focus on getting Yanjun. And then when it comes to like Korean album cards, I'm going to double collect still Yanjun and Subin. Um, I just sort of had to make this decision because things are just getting really expensive with TXT and double collecting them. The prices for them just haven't been very kind. So yeah, it's just, you know, double collecting Yanjin and Subin has just um, not been very easy re recently. So anyways, we have an Attacka card, finally. <laughs> uh, but this one is Joshua. Oh, he's so cute. I love him so much. So we are very happy to have that. All right, let's go to this one. All right, we have some Attacka cards. <laughs> these ones crack me up so much because look at how incredibly similar these two are. So I think this is the OP2 version of Attacka. And now I at least have this set. I'm now just missing his OP1 set, which I feel like I haven't come across them as frequently for sale or trade much. Um, usually it's just one card, but not the other. And I really would like to try to get them both as a set, you know? But at least we have these. And then, yeah, once I get um, the OP1, then my Attacka collection for DK will be completed and then I can uh, focus on Joshua's. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have another one here. This is, is this another lucky draw, I want to say? Okay, here he is. Is he not the cutest? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I cannot remember. Is this sound wave or what? But it is a plastic card. So yeah, it is a lucky draw for Ataka. Very, very cute. Okay, let's go on into this one because I honestly can't remember. Oh, you know what? I bet this, all this stuff, went along <laughs> with the birthday cup sleeve stuff because I do remember seeing this pin in that same photo. Well, this is going to be interesting because I honestly thought I was just getting the photo cards and they gave me something from the 17 Museum. Okay. <laughs> I honestly do not remember what is in here. Oh my gosh, why do I do this to myself? Oh, oh, okay, okay. So this is that um, picture frame thing. Interesting, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't look like I can remove this photo, so it's just sort of part of the frame. And there's like the stand for it. All right. Um, let's see what else we have. This pin, which I will just go ahead and leave in that. What on earth is this? <laughs> like, what did I buy? I honestly thought it was just going to be photo cards. Are they in here? Are they in another package? Who knows? 
Oh, I think this is, um, oh gosh, I think this is his acrylic standee. Yeah, we're just going to rip this. This is just not coming out. Okay. So yes, this is his little standee. <laughs> okay. It is actually super cute. I love the pink, but I'm still like, where are my photo cards at? <laughs> so it must be in a different pouch. So I have to look for that. Where on earth are the actual cards at? <laughs> I'm starting to get worried. Okay, so now this is um, the incomplete Blu-ray card, I want to say. They look really similar. The, the DVD and the Blu-ray cards look very similar, but I think of him doing the finger hearts, that's the Blu-ray. So I knew I wanted to get at least one. I'm probably not going to get both because they are so similar, but I just really, really love this one. It is so cute with the little finger hearts and everything. So I really, really enjoy this card a lot. So this next one, actually, I think it's TXT. And if I had to guess, it's probably a Yanjun card. Yes. So <laughs> I love this one so much. I can't remember if this is, oh, is it Tower Records or Universal Music? Um, but it's one of the cards uh, from that shop. So I love it. And wow, it's actually kind of a long card. I was not expecting that. But this is one of my favorite cards of his. Absolutely adorable. And it wasn't overly overpriced. Overly overpriced, that doesn't make sense. But you know what I mean. It, it wasn't outrageous, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to DK now. Um... We have another Attica card. Gosh, I keep wanting to call it Attica. For the longest time, I want to call it Attica because it rhymes with the movie Gattaca, you know, that movie starring Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, if you're old enough to remember that. <laughs> but yes, um, I like to call it Attica, even though I know it's not how you say it, but we finally have this one. Okay, it looks like I have maybe a carrot lamb thing here, maybe. Maybe we can just slide them out. There we go. Okay, yay. So I got uh, these ones are from this year, uh, the 2021 Carrot Land. And I know one of them is the t shirt card, and then the other one is the tote bag, I want to say. So that's where each of these are from. They're just so cute. And I just really love the color scheme that they went with for Carrot Land. So. Yeah, <laughs> that was why I'm like, oh, I think I want to get that. Okay, and now we have, oh, okay, so here is his uh, last one, the last Carrot Land um, solo card that I was talking about. Maybe I could just peel it off. Here we go. So this is another one of those ones that has that, um, that shattered glass hollow effect, which I think is really beautiful. And I think each member had two cards that were like this. Isn't that nice? Oh, I love it so much. And he's so cute. So I'm very happy to have that. Oh, and they included this little freebie. I get really excited when I start now getting uh, 17 freebies, like when I'm doing trades especially. I did one trade, or no, maybe it was a purchase from uh from i think mercari us or something they gave me some dk freebies and that was when it felt real you know it wasn't buying the actual stuff but it was when another person in the fandom gives you freebies from that fandom and then you're like oh it feels real it feels like i'm actually part of the fandom now i'm getting these freebies i don't know if that makes any sense if you feel the same way <laughs> but yeah um i I think wait is that it in here because I don't want to have to open this whole thing if I don't have to I think that's it so these are his season's greetings cards so one uh, this is the 2019 one and then we have the 2020 season's greetings so let me get that out oh hi Leo oh sorry there's trash in the way <laughs> my dog just got up and left I think he got overwhelmed that there's just so much trash on the floor because I'm just ripping all this stuff off and just throwing it on the floor. Oh my gosh, I feel kind of bad that he just ran out. <laughs> I 
but anyway so here are the season's greetings cards very cute i know i keep saying that and look at the drawing on the back though it's so adorable oh boy we are um we're getting there but <laughs> this was like hanging on by a thread like this okay so let's see if i want to uh let's just go with this one first <laughs> i see some stuff from hangare in here so yeah, this was another one where it was just sort of, um, you know, a set of a whole bunch of different cards. So I knew I really wanted uh, to get Hangare, well, at least to complete his set for that. And eventually, um, I'll probably do Joshua's as well. But yes, I just really wanted these ones. And then we have this clear card, which I'll just leave there. Okay, and then we have another Hengare card. And obviously we have these ones from Hengare as well. And then we have this like what HMV sticker. I don't even know if this is official to be honest. Um, that's not why I bought the set. I bought it for the Hengare cards. But yeah, that was a really good one. That was all from the same seller. Okay, and now we have this little one. Okay, so this is his social club card. So if you saw my last unboxing or my last 17 haul, part one, you'll see that I hauled the social club book and the photo cards and I pulled the one photo card of DKs that I really, really, really wanted. But um, I did not pull this one, thankfully, uh, because I ended up actually buying this card from Mercari Japan like before I even got that social club book. So it was a bit of a gamble, but it paid off because I still needed this card. So I'm so happy to have it. He's so cute with the flower. All right, I just unwrapped another package that was just all bubble wrap because I didn't realize that there was more photo card stuff in there. But also, as you can see, I did get some more Amifa pockets. I get asked a lot about, you know, what pockets I use for A5 size binders. And obviously the popular one out there are by B on D, which you can buy from US retailers. Well, technically they're like imported, but um, you can get them from mochithings.com. They're also sold on K-Town for you. But also I like to use the Amifa ones as well because they're bigger and they do fit your standard size Dragon Shield sleeves. So I got five more packs of this because I do want to use it for DK's binder. Okay, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, I truly thought we were done, but I realized that there's still one really big um, photo card pile <laughs> that I haven't received yet. Oh, okay, so here's the one Jake card, the one in Hypen card that I mentioned earlier. It's his Universal Music card. And yay, I'm so glad to have this. Hopefully he will focus. There we go. But yes, um, so we finally have that. We'll put him face down. Okay, and then let's look at this one. What on earth did I buy here? <laughs> it's so sad when you can't remember. Ooh. Okay, so we got the Haru cards. Wow, I actually think I threw these into my cart at like the last minute. So their Japan cards are a bit bigger than the standard size cards, but I still really wanted the Haru set. I just think that they're really cute and I really love the flower wall that they have here. So I got some of his sets. Well, I'm sorry, I got some of his cards. I don't have his complete set yet. But yeah, like I was saying, I didn't get his whole set, but I just, uh, you know, really wanted the ones that were really cute and green. <laughs> and here's the drawing back here. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Dino illustrated by DK. And then we have the clear card, which I'll leave in the plastic. We're almost done. <laughs> This is taking so much longer than I originally thought it would. I honestly didn't think I bought that many things. It just didn't feel like it, but I have to remember that in all my orders, they were sets of so many different cards and it just completely like went over my head. Okay, so these are some of postcards and like the clear cards from your choice. I'm actually gonna leave these 
um, in here because I don't really want to um, unwrap that because I actually already have these. So, um, but I did get DK's cards. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, so we have his Ataka card. <laughs> And then we have, um, oh, part of his incomplete set, which I ordered some sets off of the 17 Black Friday sale. So, um, hopefully I end up with more than just this one, but this was just a really random one that was thrown in to, um, with the seller. And then we have your choice and then another Ataka card. And yes, these two look so similar, <laughs> but they're different. Okay, and finally, this is the Mighty one that I was super excited about. And this one, I believe, if it's the right one that I'm thinking of, it's pretty much what kind of nudged me a bit more to finally start collecting DK. This was pretty much what made me open up a buy -E order in the first place when I saw this set. And I told myself, I said, you know, I'm... If this order doesn't go through, then I won't open up a buy -E order and I just won't collect him yet. But the order went through <laughs> and it is his entire set from an ode. A seller got rid of his entire an ode set and I know that that set is a lot more complicated for people, you know, t to collect just because there's so many cards, right? So like, okay, here's begin. So they had what, 20 cards, I think, for an ode, which is an insane amount. <laughs> and um, once I saw that, I was like, oh, maybe this is a sign. I should just go ahead and do it because, you know, it's just so much nicer, just so much easier to start collecting when you can get sets of something all at once from the same person and it just makes things so much less stressful. So yeah, that is um, <laughs> what I decided to do. And that's really what kind of set this whole collection in motion was getting an ode and having it approved on Bayi and everything. So I feel so happy about that. And then I was like, okay, um, the order went through. So that means I can <laughs> start uh, adding more stuff to my cart and get this collection actually going and so stuff was just sort of building up in my cart ever since then and like I said you know getting sets and stuff is really really beneficial if you are just starting out you know keep looking see whoever is getting rid of their collection someone is always dropping their collection <laughs> so um, it really does help to keep an eye out for those things even on um even on instagram you know if you're on instagram and you do a lot of buying and trading there keep an eye out there as well so okay <laughs> oh my gosh i cannot believe i have his entire an ode set oh someone's pet hair got stuck on that too okay <laughs> Oh my gosh, just look at it. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy about this Okay, that's it for the photo cards. I do have that one bigger item that I'm going to unwrap right now Okay, so this was what I was really excited about and it is the carrot land photo card binder so I was watching Ava Karatumi. I was watching her channel and I love her channel. You should definitely go subscribe. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, but she was putting away her 17 cards. And at the time I was like contemplating, how do I want to store my 17 collection? Let me zoom out a little bit. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to store my collection. I was toying with the idea of maybe just um, doing another B on D binder, like an A5 binder. And I saw that Ava used this binder and I was like, oh my God, that is a perfect size. And I can still use my A5 size uh, pockets, right? So I can use my Amifa pockets in here and I can use the sleeves that I still have 
So all around that really um, worked out. I thought it was a brilliant idea. So it looks really plain on the outside, but um, when you open it up, it is so pretty. It is so gorgeous and I just absolutely love that even though it holds A5 contents, the outer rims stick out. So it kind of gives the illusion that the binder is a bit bigger and it's got these beautiful illustrations that peek out, but it still fits, you know, it's still an A5 size. Now um, I'm going to do what Ava did and she removed these, um, <laughs> these pockets. I'm not a fan of them either. I think they look kind of cloudy and they're just really, really thick and um, kind of kind of bulky. So I'm not a huge fan of them either, which is why I'm gonna remove these and put in the Amifa pockets and um, do my binder set up that way. So I'm really, really excited about this. So I know that <laughs> I did haul quite a lot of cards today and we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll see how um, how everything fits. Will I maybe have to upgrade my, my binder eventually? I mean, that's possible, you never know, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I really love the idea of things like mini binders and how everybody uses them a little bit differently and everybody kind of personalizes it and makes it their own. And I really love uh, collect books too. I think there's such a cute and fun way to, you know, store your collection. And, um, and yeah, it's just something that I see all over TikTok and I just think it's really, really cute. So I might do like a collect book type thing for Joshua because right now his collection is super small and then DK will probably end up going in here um, until eventually maybe he'll outgrow it. Who knows? <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm really, really happy to have this binder here and I'm so excited to get um, everything stored away. With that being said, that is the end of this video. So like I said, part three will be me setting up binder things, all 17, DK and Joshua, and a little bit of, you know, um, just the group in general. I have a lot of miscellaneous cards for them too, but I'm so excited. And if you stuck around for this entire unboxing, thank you so much. I know that this was long and I can get so long-winded, but yeah, I will be seeing you then in my next video. Bye.